Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to create a checklist. You can see how this one works. If I check a checkbox, it automatically formats that row with the gold background color and also it increases this percentage completed value down here, which also has a gold background and that gold background continues to fill that cell as the percentage complete increases. Now the method I'm going to use to achieve this relies on you having Excel 365 with this checkbox button, which is now on the insert tab. If you don't have Excel 365, I have done a video that explains how to do exactly the same thing with earlier versions of Excel. And I've left a link to that video up here in the top right hand corner and also in the description of this video. Okay, let's see how this can be done. Let's see how we can insert these checkboxes. So we're gonna select the first range of cells, then hold down control and select the second range of cells. Go to the insert tab on the ribbon and click on this checkbox button. Now, if I click into a cell that has a check checkbox you can see that the cell contains the word true i can see that in the formula bar for an unchecked checkbox the cell contains the word false now that true and false is the key to being able to use these checkboxes in relation to conditional formatting and formulas okay let's see how we can apply conditional formatting so i'm going to apply it to this range of cells first so I'm on the home tab of the ribbon, conditional formatting, new rule. And I need to select this rule type, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now the formula that I write applies initially to the active cell. Now the active cell is the first cell you selected. In fact, it's the cell that doesn't have the gray background. So I've selected all these cells, but this cell doesn't have a gray background, all the other selected cells do. So the formula for this cell needs to check whether this cell in the same row contains the word true. Now I don't need to write does B2 equal true. All the formula needs to do is resolve to true or false. And that's exactly what I'm going to have in B2, either a true or a false value. I do need to deal with these dollars. Now, at the moment, I have an absolute reference. So if I left it as it is with the two dollars, I would be basing the conditional formatting for all of these rows on the checkbox in B2. Now, I don't want that to be the case. I want the conditional formatting to be based on the checkbox within each row. So what I need to do is take out the dollar before the two so that the two can change to a three, four, five, and six. Then I choose my format. So I go to the format button and the fill color is going to be this gold color here. Click on OK and then click on OK again. Now I need to apply the same conditional formatting down here. So I click into the first cell that I applied the conditional formatting to. I click on this Format Painter button, which is on the Home tab of the ribbon. And then I select the cells that I want the conditional formatting to apply to in the second part of this list. Now something interesting has happened here. It seems to have got rid of the checkboxes. That may or may not happen for you, but if it does, all you need to do is select those cells, go to the Insert tab on your ribbon and click on the checkbox button to reinstate the checkboxes. So this will now work. When I tick any of these checkboxes, I'll get that background color. So now I need to achieve this percent completed calculation. And the way I'm going to do that is use the COUNTIF function. I'm going to count how many cells in this range contain the value true. And remember, wherever I have a checked checkbox, that cell will contain the value true. So equals COUNTIF. 
the range is the range of cells that I'm counting in, comma, and the criteria is true. Close the bracket, press enter, and I get a count of five. So I now need to divide that number by the number of questions in my list. Now to achieve that, I'm going to need to count how many questions there are. And I'm going to divide and then count using the count A function. Count A will count the number of non-empty cells, non-blank cells within a range. So that's going to be that range, comma, and that range. Close the bracket, press enter, and I will then apply the percent format. And you can see 56% of the tasks have been completed. If I tick another checkbox, it increases the tally. Now to get a bar within that cell that fills up as this percent complete increases, I can use conditional formatting. Now I've already got a border around the cell and I've done that by going to home and then going to this drop down and choosing thick outside border. Then I'm gonna go up to conditional formatting data bars, more rules. Now for minimum and maximum, you need to change the type to number. And then the maximum number you need to change to one, leave the minimum as zero. Then I'm gonna change the color of the bar to that gold, and then click on okay. And you can see, I then get that bar filling up as the tally increases. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.